If you are interested in connections between the cosmos and man, or in ways to tap the unlimited sea of energy in which we live, then please help enable the English translation of this Russian book, Space, Earth, Human, by scientist Dr. Alexander Parkamov. My name is Bob Greenier. Since 2012, I have been supported by an international community of wonderful people just like you to volunteer for the open, not-for-profit Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Scientists across the world are waking up to the role that neutrinos might play in how everything in our reality works and how they may enable the next chapter in our history. Russian research has been ahead of this trend, conducting focused experiments for decades, and this book, first published in 2009, reveals a spread of work by a real pioneer in this field. Alexander Parkamov is updating his book, including latest data for this new version, and I feel it is imperative that his results and related insights is read as widely as possible. We need you to help us raise $7,000 to make this happen. We have identified an experienced Russian to English philologist and translator and tested the full end-to-end -end translation and book formatting process. For every reward level, you will get something tangible. Remember though, if you want to help this research as a priority, you can pledge more for a less valuable reward. This will leave more for us to work with. What follows is a non-exhaustive list for you to drill into of some of the key people that have enabled this understanding of our universe to emerge. British physicist Charles Barkler followed his 1909 discovery of elemental characteristic X-rays by researching what he called J-radiation, which ultimately neither he nor his contemporaries could ever explain. Austrian physicist Wolfgang Pauli said of his 1930 proposed neutrino, I have done a terrible thing. I have postulated a particle that cannot be detected. French economist and physicist Maurice Allais observed peculiar movements in a Foucault pendulum during a 1954 alignment of the Sun, Moon and Earth. Just two years later, in 1956, the American physicist Frederick Raines detected neutrinos. The following year, in 1957, the Russian physicist Ivan Filimonenko is said to have developed a neutron-free palladium and heavy water heat-producing reactor that also produced reactionless force and a strange emission that affected radionuclide half-lives. From the early 1970s, Russian inventor and scientist Alexander Chenetsky found that high-frequency plasma discharges could produce excess energy, reactionless propulsion, and emit waves that could penetrate metals and accelerate beta isotope decay. From 1979, Canadian Tesla enthusiast John Hutchison discovered that by combining high-voltage static electricity with various interfering electromagnetic waves, he could initiate cold, elemental transmutation, deactivate radionuclides, create anti-gravity effects, and fuse dissimilar materials. From the early 1980s, American inventor Kenneth Shoulders discovered that electrons could be made to self-organize, enabling excess heat, reactionless propulsion, radionuclide deactivation, elemental transmutation, and X-ray production. In March 1989, electrochemists Stanley Pons and Martin Fleischmann announced that they had achieved excess heat and transmutation in a palladium and heavy water electrolytic cell. In August 1989, Italian scientist Francesco Biandelli discovered that nickel and hydrogen produced excess heat and later confirmed transmutation. Between 1989 and 1994, Japanese nuclear scientist Takaki Matsumoto established that both palladium, deuterium and nickel hydrogen systems produced transmutation, disappearance of material and strange tracks in X-ray emulsions. He conceded in his later years that he had replicated the observations of Kenneth Shoulders. Between 1987 and 1999, Chinese researcher Xu Wenzhou's team found that during Sun, Moon and Earth alignments, an unusual force of horizontal oscillation takes place. This affects the grain arrangement of lead-tin alloy, the spectral wavelengths of atoms or molecules, and the speed rate of atomic clocks. In 1992, while spinning high-temperature superconductors, Russian scientist Eugene Potletnov observed local gravity modification and claimed the waves propagated faster than light and the beam could cause fusion of dissimilar materials. If we can exceed the goal of $7,000 needed to translate Alexander's book and deliver the rewards, the extra proceeds will be used to help support a research trip to Russia again this year to collaborate with some of the leaders in this field there and to perform ongoing planned research. 
Especially, I would like to relay time spent with Alexander Shishkin, who, after nine years of research with a team of experienced scientists, is convinced via experiment that at least one form of active agent present in many of the aforementioned observations is a self-organized dense ring of neutrinos. Please help bring this book to the international community. Thank you for your time.